hi everybody and welcome back to Nelling Group Designs. We're that much closer to Christmas and I'm on day 15, which today is Wednesday the 15th in my December daily. I will admit and I will say um, I'm really enjoying this, but there are days where I feel a little overwhelmed by it because I'm the type of person that if I'm going to do something on a daily basis, I try to do it on a daily basis. When I fall behind, like most of us, I start to feel guilty and I have to keep referring back to my, my date book. Um, it is a good thing that I know a lot of people have planners. And last year I did buy one of the happy plan a happy life planners. And it has been uh, a godsend uh, to me because you can see I have a lot that I do right in here. I keep track of all my uh, YouTube videos. I keep track of my appointments, mostly my YouTube, what I've done, what I plan on doing. This is for the month for if I'm meeting someone for lunch or doctor's appointment, the girl's um hair appointments. Um, so I do have to, I try to write in here every day. That's one thing that I am very good about. This, not so much, but I will say I'm a big scrapbooker. And a lot of times I would go back and I would scrapbook Christmas photos. I wouldn't remember the exact date. I wouldn't remember you know, really what happened or conversations or my feelings, how I felt, uh, my emotional feelings. So I will say that a December daily or a December junk journal really is the way to go. Um, and I really do like it. So today I thought we would do um, the 14th and today the 15th. So let me show you what I've done so far. I think the last I left off with you possibly was December 6th. And I do remember showing the pictures of my photographs here of my Christmas tree. So <clears throat> we're going to head on over to, this is still all the 6th, um, December 6th, because I had the Christmas tree these are little journaling cards I wrote in. This was um, a decoration that I put up on my um, coffee table. And this was one of my mom's um, little Christmas corsages. I just tucked in there. That's a little vase. Um, I decided to, and this is another thing that, you know, I want to share with everybody that if you really don't have anything to write, you can you can just make a pretty page, um, a pretty pocket. And I really like the way, <clears throat> excuse me, this one came out with just a little bit of ribbon. And again, this is a clipped, uh, punched Christmas card from years past, which I think went perfectly for this. I, I have probably 50 of these punched and I can just go through them. And... So, you know, one of the reasons, and this is another thing I want to talk to you about today. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple. And my 14th and 15th um, is going to be very simple. So I did show you my brother. Um, let me just show you here. My brother P-Touch machine. Um, my son got this for me last Christmas and I use it a lot and I really like it. So I have a label maker and when I do have a photo, I don't like to write on it because a lot of times it will smudge and then I just ruin it. So <clears throat> this year while I trimmed the tree, I have a CD of all the old shows, Petticoat Junction, and the, it's just Christmas specials, Jack Benny, Ozzy and Harriet Dragnet. So I just made a little, um, oh gosh, a little label. My mind's not working this morning. You know, just stating while trimming the tree. So I can remember what I watched. Um, usually I watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Don't ask me why, but 
I've always watched that movie. This year I thought I would just change it up for a little something different. And then I just did my journaling here, um, December 8th, which is the Psalms 118.24. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I just thought those images were so pretty of the polar bears. And I just added a little, um, pretty little punched tag here and then the snowflake and pine cones. And then <clears throat> this was the, oh yeah, I must have brought you up to speed on this because I did a video on this tab here. And then this is where I went to um, Wits End. I took my daughter-in-law there. We shopped for the day. So I made a um, entry about that. And then what, what I purchased for who as far as the old world, world ornaments. So I'll remember that. These, this page here I'm leaving, I'm going to put some family pictures, Christmas pictures in here on the back of the signature. Then I got over to the 10th and I worked on this, um, I think it was Monday. I worked most of the day on catching up. So on the 10th, uh, I wasn't sure, not a lot happened, but I do know that one of our employees, um, Sherry, had a new baby girl. And I wanted to, I had purchased a gift for her and I wanted to get it sent out. So that's what I did on Monday. I wrote her a really nice note in her Christmas card. And um, I made um, I made a, a nice little tag. I had a vintage crochet book of just all baby um, hats and bonnets and booties. So I clipped a little tiny image of a stork and the little baby here. And then I wrote a note here, uh, what I gave, what we sent Sherry. And then keeping in, in line with um, a baby theme, I then went and um, I printed out a, I don't know if it's a song, it might be a song, but I found these beautiful lyrics about um, the birth of Christ. So um, it's a really, really pretty, really pretty um, message. So I printed this out. And then again, these are from past Christmas cards because I wasn't sure, you know, what to put, you know, how I was going to position it. And again, I was just trying to keep a, keep it somewhat simple to the theme. Um, I think it's, to me, I think it's very peaceful. I have the peace doves here, um, which represent, you know, Jesus is all about peace and love. Um, love your neighbor, love yourself. So I thought the peace dove was very um, befitting to go with this beautiful um, verse about the birth of Jesus. So I tied those two together. And then over here on the 11th, um, again, this brought me to the weekend because the weekend was the 11th and 12th. And both of those days I finished and worked on my girlfriend's journal. And I'm very bad about taking photos of work that I have done so I can reflect back on it. Or I can, um, if I get a repeat order with like a, a keepsake card holder, I can go back and say, okay, I've already made this for Katie or I'm keeping it in this theme. So I wanted to run off some photos of the um, the Christmas journal I made for my girlfriend. So I ran off photos, to, did a nice little photo shoot. And I thought Hello December was very um, fitting for this because seeing that it will be a December journal for her to use. This here, I just glued on this side and I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is after I give it to her for Christmas, I'll have my husband take a picture of her and I, and then I'm going to make a little card and I will um, recap the moment and the memories of when she opened it and things like that. So again, I was the weekend, so I did the 11th and the 12th, and um, I just put in some center, you know, some interior pictures, pages of things that I, I really liked, and then I put the 25th down here because I'll be giving it to her for Christmas, so 
so I thought that was appropriate. And then on this side here for the 13th, um, which was Monday, right? Yeah, that was Monday. Again, there wasn't a lot going on. I, I took my son um, for an appointment and, um, you know, we kind of ran, ran the roads a little bit. So right here, I, what did I journal about? Um, oh, I think here, I just, again, I just journaled because this is part of um, Lee's book. I just journaled about um, making Lee her Christmas gift this year and then um, about how it's better to give than receive. And I, again, I tied a religious theme into that. Um, and I quoted John 3, 16 at the bottom. And then, so that brings us to the 14th and 15th. And I had both of these beautiful images that I wanted to put in the book. And I wanted to do something a little different. So I, as you can see, I just took some scrapbooking um, paper and I took my this is sewed on. I stitched both of this on. And if you don't do not have a sewing machine, you can glue it on with your three in one glue and it will adhere just fine. So, and I did, you know, a little different with the, instead of just making a square, I did take a little um, bite out of each side just to give it a little, a little different look. And then again, I have two pockets here. So the 14th yesterday was the day um, that I did all my Christmas cards. I got them all done. Um, I made them this year. I think I have a video on that as well because that was part of my design team project. So you can go back and see that. So I wanted to make a tag for um, making my Christmas cards. And then today, the 15th, my daughter-in-law is going to come over and we're going to make um, pressed cookies with my mom's pressed machine that she's had from the 1950s. And my brother's coming uh, this weekend. We're going to have a nice family Christmas dinner on Sunday. And last year I made him some pressed cookies and he was so excited because that's the one cookie that my mom always made. She made the Christmas tree, the wreath, a candy cane, and a snowflake. And we always decorated them um, with the homemade icing that you could pipe on all the different colors. And we had our sprinkles and we had our glitter. Well, not glitter, but the crystallized sugar and um, the little tiny red hot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some for him for when he and his other better half, Marcia, come for um, dinner on Sunday. So I want to show you how you can just keep things simple. It doesn't have to be complicated if you're pressed for time like I am. So when um, Mara and I went shopping last week, I was very surprised to see these cards in a rack. Now, I used to purchase these cards um, at craft stores, local craft stores that I would go to. And it's the mouse, it's the house mouse designs. And this gal is over in Colchester, Vermont. And this is Muzzy. This is Amanda Muzzy. This is who's, says here, who's pictured. Um, she's a fabulous artist. And for many, many, many years, she has designed these sweet little mouse cards. She has them for all seasons. And they are just adorable. And I have not seen these cards in many, many, many years. This one, this image is dated back to 2007. And these two are 2010. But she goes back to the 1980s. Um, and she started out, she had a craft booth. And we would go, this is Hop It Mud Pie over here. Oh, Hop It and then Mud Pie. And then this one is Monica. This little mouse is Monica. And then this one is Muzzy and Amanda. So I picked these up. They're still fairly inexpensive. They're $1.99 a card. So I picked up these to use in my um, junk journal this year and for upcoming, you know, 
upcoming journals for the following years. But I've always loved these images. It's almost like these are as close to my heart as the Betsy Clark images. So instead of making a tag and seeing that I sent out Christmas cards, I'm going to slip this card in here and then I will do a little journal writing in here and I'm going to make a list of everybody that I sent Christmas cards to. So this will be a nice reminder as to who I received cards from and who I sent cards to. So this is going to be very easy. It's going to be a no-brainer. Um, I found this really cute Christmas card. Um, it's a comes from this pack here, uh, K and Company, and it's a little die cut cardstock and acetate. 46 pieces. I haven't used it yet. I, I purchased quite a few of these and stuck them in the in my Christmas box. So this is just a nice little shiny Christmas card saying on acetate. And I'm going to attach it right on here. And then that way, this can be used as a little pull, uh, little pull tag on the side. So I'm going to use... Um, I guess I will use my three and one, or I'm wondering if it might be better. Yeah, I'm going to use my three and one. I'm going to try that. I think it will be okay. So I want to thank everybody for joining in, um, following along, listening to me babble. Some days it's just nonsense. Um, but I do, I really appreciate it. And thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing and wanting to follow along. It means an awful lot to me. So I'm going to put that right there. And I think this will be, I think that will be just fine move it up a little bit. I'm going to let that dry. And I think that will be really, I think that will be really cute. So, you know, you don't always have to make a fancy tag. Um, you can always just kind of keep it with the theme. So that seemed to work out fairly well. And then today, these are the spritz. I still call them cream cheese cookies because that's what my that's what my mom called them, but they are actually a spritz. So you can see this is the old-fashioned press. So um, today I'm going to be making these here, these little flowerettes. I'll make these. Um, this is like the little shamrock one. We never really made too many of those, um, but I will make, I don't see any Christmas trees in here. Um, oh yeah, here's a Christmas tree right here. So we'll make the Christmas trees. Yeah, and these are just so delicious. They are just fun, fun, fun. So the other thing I wanted to show you is um, there's a lot of things that you can do with your photos. Um, and what I like to do, like you can, if you notice here, when I cut the paper, I left the extra paper on the bottom. I didn't cut it right off to frame the photo. So it's almost like a Polaroid style. Then it gives you an opportunity to, you know, put some embellishments on the bottom or um, to put a label. I want to see if I've done that. It seems like I did it somewhere else as well. Again, see, I do it here. I don't trim it right off so you can put your label there. Um, those are extra. This just has a wider border. Yeah, so, so always consider that. So the reason I left the extra um, paper on the side is it's going to be used as part of the pull tag, okay? because the photo is a, a three and a half by five. So I'm going to use that. I'll attach a little thing on here so I can pull it and pull it out. So again, I'm going to, um, 
figure out something here. I haven't really decided what I was going to do here on the bottom, but I want to do a little decorating. Seeing that we decorate cookies, we're going to decorate the little bottom piece here. Let me see what I have. I don't want any more acetate. I know that. I'm going to set these aside. We could do a Happy Holidays. That's a family photo. Let's see. And I want something, I want something flat because it's going to be um, going in that pocket. I do have things with like little cookies and, but they're raised up. I don't want to use them because it will make the pocket funky. from well I could use a two from because I will make a note on there that I'm going to be uh, making them for my brother so I could do that um, see which one I like better I could do something like that, and then I could have the tag, um, the ribbon coming off of that. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's see here. I could do something like that. And... I just want to see if I have any bright, shiny red. This will make the little small. That might be a little small. see if I have anything here in my let me see if I have anything here in my my little magic box let's see these are all a little bit bigger I have to go through as I've been using these, I've just been throwing them anywhere in any of these boxes, and these are going to be all too big. These are all going to be too big. Look at that Santa. I know this is where it gets it gets a little boring um, to watch. I like that Santa there. I think I'm going to go with the Santa. Um, I do like that. I think it's a little more festive than just a to and from tag. Let's see how that's coming along. Yeah, I like that. And then I would like a little bit of holly or something up on the top here. Something to put up there. Let's take a look and let's see what old Timmy's got. I have those. Hmm. 
let us see. I think a fun little, just a fun little saying up there may do it. Let's see. Oh, let's see. I could do a joy to the world. Because it is joyful when you're having cookies and milk, isn't it? Cookies are my downfall. I don't know about you folks. Um, I can't even make peanut butter cookies in our home because I eat them all. It's really, really bad. Um, but my, our traditional cookies that I make are the cream cheese or the spreads, but the cream cheese to me. And then snickerdoodles. Uh, the peanut butter blossoms. I do make those because the boys like them. Those are the little peanut butter ones. And then you put the large Hershey Kiss in the center. I basically make the ones my mom always made. Um, that's what I grew up with. That's what my boys grew up with. And they do like to remember grandma um, and grandpa this time of year. And yesterday I had to clean my tip and I don't know if you do it. I clean my tip by boiling it in water on my stove. Um, I boil it for about three to four minutes and it gets all of the glue out of there and it just starts to work wonderful again. So there's a little tip for you. And when you're working around photos, um, if you're if you're a dropsy person, sometimes I will. I don't have that good of a you know a steady hand. Use your tweezers because you don't want. I'd hate to have your um, image if you're gluing it, and it falls, and then it falls this way, and you get glue all over your paper. Um, that would not be good. That would not be good. Which I'm going to use on this because I just don't want to take any chances. I'm going to put him down towards, I just want that little bit there not showing. I want his foot to cover that. We have a Santa. And I'm wondering, it might be kind of fun. Um, why don't we use, I think it would be a lot of fun here if I don't think it might be lead too much of a ball. I was thinking of using um, hot wax. So if I put a circle of hot wax there, is it going to be, no, I think it would be okay in there. All right, I'm going to step away and I'm going to get my hot wax and my, I think I have a Santa press. So let me go take a look and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I found everything, um, which is good. So. I do have a um, little stamp. This is my little snowflake uh, one here. And actually, you know what I don't have, which I have to get. Oh, no, I do have matches right here. So I'm going to get this lit. And... I'll get the 
this lip. I don't burn my house down here. Whoops. Come on. So you can see I've used this quite a bit. All right, and I think I'm going to have to get, let's see, I think this one might work better. These are old, 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 old matches. There we go. Okay. All right, so we'll set that aside. I oh, hope my husband's not up here. So something burning, something burning up here. I know he's going to interrupt. He's got a nose like a bloodhound. Um, so we're not going to use the uh, snowflake. And I do have a little set. I have my little, my little Betsy Clark tin that I keep everything in. And um, this is the little Christmas tree, which I haven't used a lot of these. I've used the snowflake, so I'm not proficient in this. I will do my best, but I thought I would use the little Santa face here. I thought the little Santa would be cute. So I may not even need to use this because I think it will cover. It's about the same size. So I'm going to set this aside. I don't need that. But I do want my joy to the world. So I think I'll put my wax in the corner. And then I'm going to tuck in the joy to the world. Um, and I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use green. And I don't, I think I'll try... I think I usually use three, but I don't want to flood it either. Like I said, I'm not used to doing this. I'm not a, I'm not real profic proficient at it. Um, so I'm just going to let this I usually have like a little thing I set it on. To let that melt. I don't want my candle to go out. I have wax on the bottom of this as well. You can see it's melting. And I don't want to put my flame out. It doesn't take long. Once it gets heated up, it really doesn't take long for it to melt. You'll see. So you can see it's starting to melt now. And these do get very hot. You can buy the ones that they look like little fondue pots. And then your top, your little um, melting spoon. Um, sits, you know, it nestles right in there and it sits all by itself. And this here, you're going to see, I'm going to have other colors in it, but that's okay. That's okay. Let me take a pin here and kind of swirl it around. There's one gal on Instagram. This is all she does is she plays with her her wax here and she does a lot of cool stuff okay I'm just gonna stick that right there all right so I'm going to get let's see here I'm just going to get this in case there's an overflow. I don't want to get it on my, and I've got my stamp. So let's, and I'm just going to set this, I'm going to blow that out. I'm going to set that right there. 
And then we're going to put this over here because it's going to spread. I didn't even look. Oh my goodness. I didn't even look to see if my Santa was right side up. So see, there's just one of the foo paws. I told you I wasn't proficient with this. So this is going to be a surprise, not only to you, but to me to see um, which way Santa's facing. I bet she's upside down. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Oh, he's sideways. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is, right? So I just have to practice more, but that's okay. That's all right. No harm done. No harm done. Just one of those things. Okay, so now I have that all done. And I will take care of that later. Go heat that up. Maybe I'll boil that and get all the wax off of that. All right. All right, let's finish this. Let's finish this disastrous project up. All right, so that will snuggle right down inside there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to make a punch and put this in here. And then I'm going to call it a journaling card. And it's all good, right? It's all good. And I'm going to, I'm going to do something. Let's see if I can do something a little different here. Oh my goodness. I hope I have a better day making the cookies than I've been doing working on this card, right? I hope I have a better day. That's what I wanted to accomplish right there. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted to accomplish right there. There, okay. I just didn't want to pull it right straight through. I wanted to have a couple little loop-de-loops. So that's dry. And then we are, then I can write on this later, my memories. So we're going to tuck that right in there with that little loop-de-loop -loop there. See, you don't even see the sideways Santa. And then over here, I've got my Christmas card. And then the saying inside is, not a creature was scurrying, not even a mouse. Peace to you and yours this holiday. That will go in on this side. And I have my two cute little journaling cards. And then all I have to do is add um, a few snowflakes to this. And then I can move on to the 16th. So there you have it, my friends. That is today's video. Um, keep it simple. Remember to keep your... Santa straight and upright. <laughs> oh boy, that's okay. It's all good. And um, yeah, I hope you liked working in my December daily with me and I will see you down the road. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.